Henry Cavill's work on Netflix's The Witcher is fantastic, but the series' supporting cast members are memorable, too. Chief among them, Lars Mikkelsen, who plays the conflicted illusionist Stregobor. Here's why this guy looks so familiar. Though he's currently earning rave reviews for portraying a conniving dark wizard with a piercing intellect, The Witcher is hardly Lars Mikkelsen's first go at Breaking Bad on the small screen. As it happens, the actor has had a pretty great run playing scheming intellectual sorts in movies and TV shows over the years. As such, we'd wager that many of you who are certain you've seen Stregobor's face before just might be familiar with the genius-level blackmailing baddie Charles Augustus Magnuson, one of the most devious villains to ever face off against Holmes and Watson in the BBC's pitch-perfect Sir Arthur Conan Doyle adaptation, Sherlock. You just know things. How does that work? I just love your little soldier face. I'd like to punch it. Bring it over here a minute. Mickelson appeared in the episode His Last Vow, which found Holmes and Watson on the hunt for a collection of deeply personal letters which were being used as blackmail against Lady Elizabeth Smallwood. Their search set Holmes and Watson on a collision course with Mickelson's duplicitous media mogul, a course that ends with Magnuson ultimately outwitting Holmes, thus leaving the legendary sleuth no course of action but to shoot Magnuson in the head in hopes of saving the lives and futures of all those who matter to him. House of Cards showrunner Bo Willimon was quick to seize on Mickelson's knack for playing brainy, brutal bad guys when the series was casting a key supporting role in Netflix's breakout drama series. If you count yourself as a fan of House of Cards, then we're pretty sure a big, fat light bulb just went off in your head, because Mickelson's turn as the series' calculating, shamelessly manipulative Russian leader Viktor Petrov remains one of the high points on a show that saw dramatic peaks and valleys over its tumultuous six-season run. Of all the memorable supporting players who came and went over the course of the series' 73 episodes, Mickelson's potent 13-episode arc as Petrov is the one that continues to stand tallest, if only because the character's presence was so frequently felt even when he wasn't on screen. If people don't like the job you're doing, they vote you out of office. If they don't like the job I'm doing, they topple statues. Blood is spilled. Chaos takes over. It's hard to imagine that Netflix brass wasn't keenly aware of Mickelson's powerful screen presence on House of Cards, and it seems possible that the actor's ability to hold his own against some serious dramatic heavy hitters on that series helped secure his casting on The Witcher. If you've never taken a moment to check in with either House of Cards or Sherlock, it's entirely possible you don't recognize Mickelson's face at all. But even if that's the case, the actor's voice might ring a bell. You might recognize his performance from a certain galaxy far, far away, specifically the Star Wars franchise's compelling animated series, Star Wars Rebels. Rebels follows the adventures of a starship crew who bravely stand up to the Galactic Empire, which is busy traversing the galaxy, stamping out the remnants of the Jedi Order. Joining a star-studded cast of talent including the likes of David Oyelowo, Clancy Brown, and more, Mickelson lent his voice to the show by stepping into the boots of the feared Imperial leader Grand Admiral Thrawn, who frequently tormented the ragtag group of rebels throughout the series. Mickelson has a number of projects in the works. To name just a couple, he'll be featured in the upcoming crime drama The Knife Thrower, and on the Danish small-screen serial Grow, which is currently shooting. In the meantime, though, he's enjoying the raised profile that comes with his supporting role on The Witcher. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.